What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk to you about Lucid. I want to go over some of the data points, break it down on what is really moving it, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So Lucid is down 0.64%, 1772 the low, 1948 the high. So this spike was very interesting, rather short-lived though. Um, give yourself a shout out if you were able to kind of piggyback or benefit from this five or 10 minute rally but we did see a lot of good volume 16.2 million shares being traded 905 is the average there's been a couple of things that was announced one was this right here so ocean independence which is a luxury yacht sales charter new build and management uh, looks like they have uh, an are partnering with lucid so that's good stuff i think generally that if anything probably is the most logical partnership out there sometimes you'll have lucid with like hotel chains and i don't really see any of that resulting in any sales this one right here like if you have a yacht there's a good chance that you are in kind of the realm of buying a lucid so i think this is a good partnership what caused this spike right here was this so lucid intends to deliver first level four autonomous evs to consumers with nvidia so a brand new partnership well, I guess not new partnership because they already did have a previous one with NVIDIA that was announced back in 2022, but this does show level four. So huge news for Lucid moving in the right direction. So you kind of have two things working at the same time. So you have uber neuro that is going to really go full uh, kind of autonomous there and then you have on the consumer side now with this that can do it uh, level four so in general this is good news previously what was announced way back in right over here i think january january 2023 so yeah 2022 2023 this did come out where lucid uh through nvidia was going to be able to offer level three so this technically is a move in the right direction so this again you kind of had two big things that did come out one good partnership and one thing that is going to be good for the midsize so it does say that the future midsize vehicles so regrettably you kind of have to wait up until i guess late 2026 when this is going to actually come to fruition but this is a good talking point for them um, so they'll be able to use this in their upcoming earnings in roughly like one week from now so i think in general this is a good thing is it a reason to have caused this spike right here most definitely not this i think really goes to show and signals how influential like algorithmic trading truly is because i couldn't really see any institutions really doing that from the secondary market and also the dark pool it wasn't really any big transactions so it was just algorithmic trading causing that spike so it is unfortunate but goes to show how little it takes for lucid to actually go higher one thing i do want to bring up more of a constructive criticism so we've seen i guess a lot of mba and timothy those are kind of the avenue that lucid wants to take i don't like the company itself faraday future but they are very good at marketing so that's what one thing that's kind of keeping them afloat and it looks like they are going the whole kind of soccer player route or football whatever the hell you want to call it depending on where you live so what's interesting about faraday is they actually started a lot of partnerships with some middle eastern entities and very similar to lucid just faraday's vehicles suck and they can't really ramp up but nonetheless uh, they at least are going this route so it'd be a lot more advantageous like i said i think if lucid learned a little bit of marketing from faraday and which is rather interesting because i do believe that faraday their current management they actually kind of poached a couple people from lucid so i don't know maybe they got something or maybe now it's time for lucid to learn a little bit from faraday even though i think they'll probably go belly up in a year year and a half but their marketing definitely is uh fairly good right um so that's something as well i just wanted to kind of bring up as far as cr uh, like constructive criticism because i don't really see anything else coming out associated to timothy and the nba stars they did their photo shoots and i don't really see that really affecting the stock price whatsoever right now but at the time doing this video shorts are returning 103,000 shares 29.4 percent of the free floats being shorted works out to be 37.3 million shares overall are being shorted looking at the options 3.8 million in calls 1.7 in puts and then 50 percent of all the options being done 
are bearish in nature. Coming from a bull standpoint, you see a consensus for it to recover to roughly around that 20, 20 to 2050, which is rather low if you think about it, especially considering all of the crazy catalysts that we do have coming up over the next couple of trading days, such as even rate cuts tomorrow. And then I as well like Amazon and Apple and so forth. But coming from a bear standpoint, you see a consensus for it to be sub 18. So we're pretty much already there for the most part. These are all the transactions occurring on the secondary market above $100,000. So you do actually see a good amount of buying as what you can kind of see right here. Nothing that would, would like would have caused this magnitude of a squeeze. So algo, uh, algos are still kind of the majority volume but still good to see institutions actually buying lucid today and then these are all the transactions occurring on the dark pool above one hundred thousand dollars so 2.03 2.03 that was clearly the same entity just based on the uh, time stamp right there and then aside from that it's very popular of a exchange largely linked to shorts as well as hedge funds with it right now at 1803 it is trading between this pivot and this s1 so 1765 is the strong support luckily enough hasn't been tested today it kind of came very close to it but and that kind of answers my question from a couple of videos ago whether we were going to be seeing 21 or 17 next uh, like I even alluded to in that video, based on all the catalysts, I would have easily assumed 21 would have been on the table. But nonetheless, 1765 is going to be a strong support. And then 2119 is going to be the next strong target slash resistance. This is a one day chart, very strong support and resistance points. Aside from all of that, on the chart, you saw that nice little spike right here that did push it briefly above that 10 day moving average. But not really enough to actually keep it there so the curse of the 50-day moving average is still kind of playing out a little bit nothing really crazy as far as news a couple articles i guess coming out saying why is lucid going higher today and blah 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 but um obviously i gave you a quick rundown on all that no new analyst ratings on a side note so most likely everyone is just waiting for lucid's upcoming earnings for them to just to kind of whisper those sweet nothings at least on a positive note this is something that they can do and lucid actually generally likes to do this going into the earnings um i can kind of i'm trying to say it in a nice way but they like to dangle a carrot so uh, typically retail investors they are very short-term focused so what they will do is they will look at this and be like hey this is amazing news while lucid puts out their earnings they might not necessarily be the best they expect people to focus on this this being a positive so the kind of people like to always call it like dangling a carrot in front of someone so this is good news i'm not kind of discrediting that but i think the timing of that especially with the proximity of their earnings they want people to be distracted by this. So kind of a good bad thing. One thing as well that I did bring up a couple of videos ago was Uber did have an announced a partnership with Nvidia. So it'd be interesting to see that dynamic, how this is all really going to play out. And if it does impact Lucid, Neuro, and uber at all that partnership so let me know your thoughts on lucid did you buy into this hype did you sell what kind of did you do one final thing pop over to my patreon if you're looking for some solid buy signals on stocks options crypto i put out daily day trades numerous swing trades worthwhile to pop over there and check that out with all that said appreciate all of you watching